okay. So there's some movies right here that's playing. I may check these. All right. This was definitely playing tonight. Let's see what happens. I'm at the movie theater. Okay, King TAC fam, out here in the theater, over in Pross, shopping. So once again, checking out a good movie, you know. So uh, let's see how it goes. I'm, I'm ready, man. I'm, I'm hyped up. I'm excited because, uh, you know. Back in the 70s, the early 80s, I was a young kid growing up in Eastside, Long Beach, California. L.B.C. I became awakened because I gained knowledge of self. I broke the shackles in the cycle of institutional post-slavery destined to destroy the black man, the black woman, and the black child. But guess what? I'm here in Africa, living it, breathing it, smelling it, tasting it. Okay, fam, King TAC about to take a nice stroll real quick. I'm going to check out a movie, a movie. Hopefully it starts a little late because I'm running late. It's close to 8 p.m. at night. So I'm going to Prize Shopping where I went to the movies before. Check out the cinema. So I'm walking over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, over here, what I said, Club 7, uh, Alchemist, where everybody were exercising at. This is where, um, where I was at earlier, a few days ago. It's important that you guys watch all these videos and connect the dots because I'm gonna have a lot of videos out here. You know, the internet is so good that I can pop a video, I can pop five videos a day if I want to. Or, I mean, actually more, but I gotta, you know, I gotta live, you know, as far as like, instead of just filming stuff, I gotta kind of savor what I'm doing. So yeah. This place is, uh, it's, 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 it's spectacular, man. I swear, it's like, I really, grateful that I got to start to come again. So let's see. See this alchemist, I ate there last time I was here. I ate dinner. thing I can say as far as uh, the attraction of foreigners here um, the sisters here seem to be attracted to the foreigners uh, like myself and other brothers and you know maybe Portuguese too I guess when it comes to like just the curiosity part of it like wonder what this brother's about and where you from where is he from, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But the brothers here, they be eyeing the sisters here. When they foreign sisters come here, they eye them big time. They be trying to be slick. And uh, I saw it. I saw this one brothers with a. I think he was from. Lucky he was from America or Canada somewhere. And this one sister, he was with. Uh, brother in the store tried to hit up on her while, while he was with her. It's like, damn. So that's crazy. 
but they don't know the repercussions of that kind of stuff. You deal with the wrong, you, you know, disrespect the wrong brother, you most definitely get, you get hurt. So, but like I said, they, they used to each other and some foreign different presence is kind of interesting and curious, curious. So, you know, and I don't know if they see us as money the same way as some other African countries do, but it is something to, to think about. And I will ask somebody. When I'm here, I'm gonna try to do a few interviews and try to find out what the mindset of the Cape Verdeans are, what, how they live and eat. And, because as a matter of fact, I was talking to one sister and I said, you know, we were talking about no stress and this, and she said, there's no stress while you're a tourist. But when you live here in a broken English, she was like, it's, it can be stressful. And then I hear other people say, Nobody they don't worry about money here. They don't worry about anything. They just want to just live, relax, and so they don't, they don't really think about stress over money and stuff. So that's um, interesting uh, conflict, contradiction, or what everyone said. But I'm here right now, so I see some music popping on coming. Through. Some music is is loud, so I don't want to get copyright. So I'm gonna cut this video off until I get inside. Okay. See? Okay, I'm about to get ready to uh, go to the movie theater real quick. I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm excited because when I'm in the States, most of the time, what I'd like to do is go to the movies. So, all right. So this is a curtain, red curtain. It's empty right now, but people, the city bought some tickets, so people are coming in and doing some shopping. So, Okay, King TAC fam. It was a very good movie, man. There's a lot of action. Uh, gore. Man, gru gruesome. But it was a good plot. So, that's what I liked about the movie. So if you come to a Pry K Birdie, go check out a movie, man, while you're at it, because it's one of the rare opportunities to come to a, you know, especially even the Gambia and stuff. So they have theaters there, say Q City, and Tropic Mall, they're gonna open up two theaters from what I heard, but not knowing when that's gonna happen. But they do play movies at Q City as well, on Saturday nights, sometimes Friday nights. There's a live band up there or something tonight, at this spot right here. You hear the music in the background up here. Yeah, so they got popcorn, candy, sodas, water. Just like a regular movie theater. But it's only one, one uh, room. You know, it's not like, well, one theater. It's not like multiple rooms. It's just one theater, that's it. Uh, One thing about traveling and being on this journey to the continent, I, I think that uh, you learn about some things every time you uh, step out the door, every time you wake up, you're learning something every day, whether it's good or bad. Everything you learn is gonna be uh, beneficial to you. Actually, this is a stairwell I should have took. I took the road, everybody. I took the road down this road right here when I actually could have took the stairwell. And I saw the stairwell, but I was like, ah, I don't think it's it. So these are the stairs, stairwell. All right, so there we go. Out there partying. So I walk the stairs, get 
get my steps on. And again, but I use my cars a lot, you know, when I'm trans going around. But look at this. Check it out, everybody. See, that's why I came, that's why I went down the stair. And now I'm coming back. Woo! I'm getting old, fam. All right. Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, and peace and blessings. Hey, I'm tired as heck. Good movie, good walk, get my steps on. And I'm happy. Thank you for following me on my journey. Keep me in your prayers. I keep you all in my prayers too. All right, peace and blessings. Back in the 70s, the early 80s, I was a young kid growing up in East Side Long Beach, California. LBC. I became awakened because I gained knowledge of self. I broke the shackles in the cycle of institutional post slavery destined to destroy the black man the black woman, and the black child. But guess what? I'm here in Africa, living it, breathing it, smelling it, tasting it.